Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. So as you can see, it's official. <clears throat> the Hinkle shop is definitely now supporting Onefinity. We are on the Onefinity team. I can't say enough about that machine, just in the little bit of experience I've had with it, it's been awesome. Having said that, our friends at Pone CNC, and that's the way Dan pronounces it, so that's the way I'm gonna pronounce it from now on. I'm gonna do my very best, Dan, to say Pone instead of Pawn, like I have been saying for the last four years now. So Pone CNC reached out to me and said, hey, you got a nice new machine back there. It's got a Makita router on it. Kind of loud, isn't it? And I said, yeah, they're loud. He said, would you like to have a new spindle kit for that new machine so that you can make it a little quieter and a little better in the shop? And I said, I sure would. So Pone CNC was gracious enough to send me a new kit, and we're going to put that kit on the machine, and we're going to see how much better it is. Now, I don't mean we're just going to pretend to see how much better it is. We're going to do a little science here. I happen to have a tachometer that we use in the HVAC industry. We use it quite often to measure how fast a blower is turning or a motor of any sort. So I'm going to take that tachometer, and I'm going to use it on the... Makita router. I'm going to be able to tell you all what those numbers actually stand for, or what at least my router is doing at that um, setting for a speed. I'm also going to measure the noise that it's making with the phone. I've got a decibel meter on my phone. We're going to do decibels and RPMs on the Makita. Then we're going to start the Pone CNC spindle, and we're going to measure RPMs, which is easily done with a variable drive, we can tell how fast it's going, and we're going to measure decibels to tell you all scientifically, once and for all, how much quieter a spindle is. So with that, let me put this thing on the machine, do some tests, and let's get started. One other thing I forgot to mention is when you put a spindle on this machine, this little 65 millimeter standard Z slider will not work. So, Onefinity got wind of my new Pone CNC spindle and they were good enough to send me this behemoth to put on here. So those two companies have been incredible for me and I can't thank either one of them enough. So we're gonna remove this guy and to do that, you begin by moving this down and loosening up the brackets and removing the router, placing that aside, removing these covers so that you can get the wires out. And for safety reasons, so that I don't short circuit anything, I'm going to shut this machine back down before I take any electrical components apart or make any changes. So let me do that now. I'll shut this down, leaving it right where it is. Hopefully I don't have to move too many things with it powered down. And that is losing connection, so that means it's powering down. I'm even going to unplug it from the wall so that I know there's absolutely no way this thing's getting electricity. And we continue. And I have to lift it up to reach the two bottom screws. And you have to have the right size Allen wrench to get it off. One tip is do not over tighten these screws. You'll strip them out. I've learned that on YouTube University. And I will have to probably tram the new Z slider. That's another video. We're not going to worry about it, that in this video. This video is just to show you how much quieter a spindle is from Pone CNC. And if you don't have a set of these, I highly encourage you to get some of these. These are really handy for this kind of work. Out with the little one, and as you can see, I trammed this one up a little bit with some aluminum foil, multiple layers to get it to where I wanted it. When I put the heavy duty Z on there, I'm probably going to use this aluminum tape because it'll stick in better. Cleaning that off. Let's put the big boy on there. Now I have to decide where I want to put it into what holes. 
Uh, let's go. Let's go to the last hole, and if if I find later that it's too high, I can certainly adjust it. And those are not the right screws. I should go to the hardware kit. Mounting bolts. I bet that's what I need. And again, don't get on these things like a gorilla. Okay, so here we are with the Makita, and I looked up a speed chart for these numbers on the dial. You probably can't see that, but it goes one to six. It starts at 10,000 up to number six at 30,000 RPMs. So we're gonna put this on number four. That's where I typically would have run that Makita router. And as you can see right here, I put a little dot of white paint. So we're going to turn the router on. Here's the tack, you know, the tachometer to, to measure and confirm. And I'm hoping that I can angle this in the camera so you can actually see the number. But I've got to be about this far away with it running. So let's go ahead and start it. And we'll put the tack on it and see what we get. It, at four, it's supposed to be roughly 22,000 RPM. So here we go. And I hope you can see that it's at 22,103. Bouncing between 22,100. Yeah, so we're in good shape. That, that's pretty accurate. Now let's see what the noise is. Bouncing between 90 and 95. considerably louder than what's good for your ears. Okay, and now we're going to test the own CNC spindle at roughly the same distance. Because you're not going to sit right on top of it, but oh wait, it is running already. And let's look at the decibels at this distance. It's running between 59 and 60 without me flapping my gums. I'm actually talking louder than that spindle. Steady 59. That's pretty impressive. Even right at it, it's only in the 70s. Which by the... <clears throat> graph here, that's just gently disturbing you. So I call that a win for Pwn CNC spindles. Okay, so what did we learn from this? First and foremost, Clinton Caraway, you rock. Clinton was the individual who reached out to Dan from Pwn CNC. Clinton works for Pwn and said, hey, I think we should send the Hinkle shop one of our spindles. They discussed it and bing, bang, boom. There's a new spindle on my Onefinity. I appreciate that, Clint. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dan. Thank you to all the guys from Onefinity for sending me the machine and sending me the upgraded slider. I can't thank you all enough for that. The bottom line with the spindle is this. They are much quieter. They are much more powerful. They're a lot safer to run on your ears. And in the case of this one, the Onefinity controller will turn on and turn off that spindle. So that's pretty cool too. I hope you got something out of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope maybe you learned something. Please give us a like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And as always, I'll catch you on the next one.